Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. First, it was foreclosure proceedings, and then it was a new management. And now head coach Pat Bingham has stepped down as head coach of the ice hockey team, the Elmira Jackals. On Saturday, the Jackals announced Pat Bingham is resigning to accept a position outside of professional hockey. Jackals general manager Matt Huffnagel says Bingham's decision is solely based on what Bingham thinks is best for his family. He led the Jackals to 45 wins, 22 losses, and five ties in the 2011-2012 season. This is the latest in what has been a very tumultuous offseason for the Jackals. After Chemung County began foreclosure proceedings on the first arena, the old management, the Offer family, was replaced with new management. Then Elmira Downtown Arena LLC, the former management, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in August. That was just days before the arena's new owner, Tom Freeman, was set to close on the property. An Elmira man is behind bars in Stoban County this morning in connection with the armed robbery of a Corning jewelry store. Police say 40-year-old Matthew Horton entered Bong's jewelry store on Market Street. That was around 10 Saturday morning, and he then threatened to shoot store employees with a gun, but he didn't display a weapon. Horton allegedly made off with about $200,000 worth of merchandise. He was arrested just 10 hours later while shopping in the Kmart Plaza in Horseheads. He's charged with first-degree robbery and second-degree grand larceny. And moving on to news making national headlines, two tornadoes touched down in a very unlikely place this weekend. Take a look at this video coming up. A tornado touched down in a summer beach community in Queens, New York City on Saturday. It was part of a powerful cold front that brought heavy rain and high winds to the northeast over the weekend. A stronger tornado also touched down in Brooklyn. There was some structural damage as well as downed trees and power lines in both areas, but no injuries were reported. All right, speaking of weather, let's go to meteorologist John Hickey for the latest weather. John. All right, thanks, Laura. Well, we're seeing a day that's going to be off to a cool start, and we warm it up a little bit as we head in towards this afternoon, but it's only going to make it up into the mid-60s. So for today, we're just chilling, keeping temperatures cool, and then pretty cold for tonight. We'll have overnight readings down into the upper 30s in our coldest spots. We'll warm it up by midweek, though. Temperatures returning into the 80s, which is actually above seasonal averages for this time of year. And then showers are possible heading in towards next weekend, but... Mm, the details need to be ironed out with those, so those details to be determined. We'll talk about that here in a little bit. For today, though, we're starting it off with some fog and some cool temperatures out there. We'll have a partly cloudy sky develop by this afternoon, though. Future track not picking up on it here. You can see just the white on the map, no green blobs, but there's about a 10% chance that we see a sprinkle, but it's just that. It's isolated. It's a 10% chance, and it's only a sprinkle. Won't disturb any of your evening plans. For tonight, though, temperatures get cold. Keep that in mind. Down into the upper 30s. You might want to shut the windows before you go to bed. Heat might kick on otherwise. We warm it up by tomorrow afternoon, though, under mostly sun-filled skies. We'll get those temperatures up into the mid-70s and then low 80s for your day on Wednesday. Here's a check on your interactive sky tracker seven-day forecast. Temperatures remain in the 80s through the end of the week uh, from Wednesday to Friday. And then we might see some showers pop up as we head in towards your weekend. That's the forecast. Here's Laura. All right, John, for the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WENY TV News in high definition. That's at 5, 36, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.